Hello everybody, this is Sheetal here and welcome to Sheetal Rao Art Studio. Today I am here to tell you about um, how to improve your English language and also how to improve your communication skills. So let's get started. Okay, tip number one to improve your English is to practice as much as you can. Taking input is not sufficient. If you watch English movies, if you listen to English songs, if you write your journals in English, that's not sufficient. You have to speak up, you have to practice speaking in English as much as you can. Okay, tip number two is that you have to give yourself the environment of English. Read English, watch English movies, listen to English songs, write your journals in English, start thinking in English. This way, words will start coming to your mind instantly. You will not have to think much. And also, uh, the translation process that is too long and it takes a lot of time to first think, think in uh, Hindi then translating it into English. Such a long process. But you don't want to do that, right? So, start thinking in English and how will it happen? Um, if somebody asks me to speak, speak on a topic uh, in Hindi, then I'm not able to because I don't have that strong vocabulary. But when it comes to English, I feel more comfortable. And um, why this is happening to me is that I, start, I started reading novels when I was in 9th standard. And when I was a kid, I used to read storybooks. So... I'm kind of imaginative person, creative person. I have, uh, I'm very much into painting stuff and I love painting. I'm a bibliophile as well. Bibliophile is a person who loves to read books. So this is how you can work on uh, your, uh, your English and all the best for your journey of learning English. Okay, coming to communication skills. How to improve communication skills? First of all, when you are supposed to deliver some speech and you are standing on the stage and you are not prepared, then you don't have to look at the ceilings or the fan or the walls. No, don't do that. You have to maintain eye contact with every person, every single person sitting in the classroom or in the room you are delivering your speech. Um, another thing is that always wear a warm smile on your face that attracts people and you seem to be more welcoming and an easy going person. So this warm smile can do wonders. So never forget to keep this smile on your face. Okay. Uh, sometimes I feel like uh, underconfident, I'm not beautiful, I'm not talented, I can't do this. I feel very low. <laughs> then at that time, what I do, um, I, I simply smile. I simply think that, okay, not a big deal. I take, I have started taking things easily. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't get uncomfortable, I don't get uneasy these days because I have found out this wonderful thing that is astrology and I have applied astrology into my life and it has made my life very easy. So whenever I start my day I always yeah I always start my day with my with my horoscope. I see my horoscope then I find out that okay these things are gonna happen today <laughs> so I have to be prepared and uh, whatever happens I, I take it easy I, I don't you know I don't get anxiety I don't get anxious mm. but when it comes to talking to people I'm, I'm, I'm very easy going person and I'm kind of amiable person friendly person but I don't have any friends now you will wonder then why don't I have any friends because I don't have any friends because I don't want to make friends okay if I do make friends then only for for as 
as long as I am with them uh, physically and mentally. I don't, I'm not much active on social media because I don't find it interesting uh, going through scroll, scrolling down the reels and liking the posts of people. I'm not fond of this stuff. I don't like social media much. But I, I use it sometimes, but I'm not much into social media. I'm always busy with my books, with my pets. I have so many pets. And okay, it's for communication skills, wear a smile, maintain eye contact, and never use harsh words. Always be polite, always be humble, always be ready to help. Okay, and this helps you a lot. This helps me a lot. So I think this will help you too. Um, I hope this is enough for today. Let's call it a day then. Let's call it a day. Yeah, this is a phrase you can use when you are to stop something. Okay, so let's call it a day then. Bye-bye. Meet you in my next video. Till then, stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you for watching my video. Do subscribe my channel if you are interested in such stuff. And also press the bell icon below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.